everyone, welcome to the RV Campfire Podcast. In this, uh, I'm doing, today I'm doing a video review of RV Leveling Box. If you remember last video I did, or in the past I've done a video of uh, the yellow plastic RV Leveling Box, and they were a complete fail. I have found a viable uh, solution, replacement, fix for the RV leveling box. And I can't take credit for this idea. It came from RV Boondocking The Good Life.com website. Again, that's the RV Boondocking The Good Life. That's where I originally found this this idea, and it's not a manufactured RV leveling device. It's um, made at home. It's made with this product. It's a stall mat, and these are manufactured from recycled tire rubber, and they're they're uh, the, they're quite heavy, and they're they're indestructible. Basically, they are indestructible. They're non-slip, and what you do, uh, you, you go to, to an agricultural type store and get this stall mat. And they come four feet wide, six feet long. And they, uh, they've got these ribs in them on one side. And on the other side, they've got this uh, little knobby, non-slip surface. Um, you can put, you put them either way up. They're extremely heavy, and so you're going to need a buddy to help you get it home. Now I'll show you how to make them. I make, I've made mine in 12 inches long and 8 inches wide. So the 8 inches wide would be the width of your tire, and you could make some longer, so you can get both your tires on them. Uh, totally flexible. Uh, you can make them any way you want. So, but just a great, great idea found online and uh, I'm quite impressed and I'm going to use them and uh, I guess if I have a problem with them you'll hear about it. So uh, let's get to making one. What I do, I set them up on a table and I've already got this cut started. So I'll get over to the edge so the one side falls down. And then with a carpet knife or a drywall knife or a, just your snap off blade uh, Ofa knife, just score it and then just keep scoring it until you get all the way through. get my square and then I measure to cut making mine just a little bit below the line there and then if you hang the one end over it opens up the cut so you can cut down Good solid leveling block, and these things are durable. And here's two, they're three quarters of an inch thick, so I've got two of them here now. That's about the width of a two by four. Now, out of one panel, 
out of one out of one stall mat you're probably gonna get enough pads to do at least two RVs so if you've got a buddy you want to split on the cost of the of the stall mat that uh, that would probably be the best way to go because there's uh, out of one stall mat there's, there's definitely way too much uh, you'll definitely have way too many pads but I think they're gonna work great and that's my uh, that's my recommendation for RV leveling box.